Hello, welcome to Just Frame. As part of this video, we are going to see how to create our own custom LLM model. So by using an existing one. So how to customize it? So how to create our own custom LLM model and how to run it and how to verify the Q&As. So that we are going to see it. So in case if you don't have LLM installed in your machine, so I'll recommend you to install first in your machine. So then you can go for uh, further steps so let's get started so for first step is to use a custom or to create a custom LLM model so you should have some base models so based on that you can able to create your own model so that is the first step it's like a kind of docker so how we are going to create a docker image you should have a base image like say for instance you want to run you want to create a java, a java docker image so then you are taking as a base as open jdk image similarly so here also we need some base image on top of that we are going to customize it as per our wish so for that purpose you can i mean open the olalama url and then go to github.com and then you can scroll down so we can see uh, these are the models are supported by Olama, which is already available and uh, so in our case I have already uh, downloaded one of the models so let me check it out so we can see this well, there is one model is already available which is downloaded as part of the previous video and uh, which is LLAMA 3.2 so this is the one I have downloaded its size is around 2.0 GB so this we are going to use it by using this I want to create my own model and which will display my name so so that's our agenda so how to create our own model so by using an existing model so that's the main purpose <coughs> so to create any model so we should have a base model so this is our base model so now how to create it so that we can go to the documentation and we can see so first for this purpose we need to create a, a model file so how to create a model file so this is a simple a documentation which is a given by Olama github so you can take this one and you can open any of the browser or notepad so you can see so this is the base model we are trying to use it Llama 3.2 and uh, so as first one is base model and the second parameter is a parameter which will create a temperature is the one is the higher so it's a basically how we are going to define accuracy uh, in case of testing so that's the way we are defining this a value temperature one it's a higher value we are trying to give and the second one is the system message when it when the system in the sense when model is responding to a user so what kind of uh, names it should be considered so that's the main purpose so in this case I don't want to use the default one because I'm going to customize it so I'm going to customize it with my name my own thoughts so that's the reason I want to remove this message and I want to give my own message say for instance this is the one just let me take so this is the message you can give as per your wish So you can copy any message you want to display you want to give instruction to your model so i'm just trying to type here saying that <coughs> so we are trying to create a llm with name as just prime and it's very good for content creation like java spring boot react or whatever so that's the way it need to answer it need to give the answer to the user with the name and in case if anybody ask who are you so then it need to give the answer so so that's the main purpose so now you can save this file as so i'm trying to give a just prime llm and save it so I'm just trying to save the model name as just prime dot LLM and you can give as per your wish so that's no issue <coughs> so now you can go to the location where your model or um, the file got saved model file and then come back here so now the model file got saved into D drive and we can see here it's the model so this is the 
a model file which I got created we can see over here <coughs> so this is our model file name so the now the model file is ready so now the second step is so how to generate LLM model from this model file so that is step so that's very easy have to use so Olalama command and then followed by create and then followed by F no not followed by F so we have to give the name what name you want to give for this model say for instance if you see our model what we have downloaded right so you can see here llama 3.2 something is there so similar way you want to give any name so you can give over here okay so you can give one dot one whatever so that you can give Olalama create a model name and then followed by file location where is your file is there so that you can give here so this is your file name <coughs> so this is your file name and then followed by enter and then you can see your model is created very simple way and now you can see the success now you want to see how many models are available in current machine so that we can able to see Olalama list press enter so we can able to see two models are available one is the default one which we have downloaded 2.0 and the second one is which we got created and just prime 1.1 and latest so this is the latest version it is trying to give and we can see different id so this is the way you can able to create your own lm model from your machine with by using Olalama. so now the third or final step is how to run my model and how to verify it so whether it is giving my customization results or not so that we are going to see so how to run it so that's very easy we have already seen it Olalama run and then followed by model name which model you want to run it and press enter so then it will start so just to minimize this window and we can able to see let me yes so now let me run again one more time because we can see a lot of so, so now we can see <coughs> our model is running just prime 1.1 and it is asking the message so now let me verify who are you I'm, I want to ask who are you so when I ask a question it's saying that it's trying to give an answer saying that so I am a just prime a friendly assistant content creator with profession with a passion for producing high quality tutorials and educational content on various technical it's trying to do so much thing so and so basically we had given a little bit thing when we are trying to uh, give our own content like java spring boot database generator but it's trying to add more things if we closely observe so java and spring boot java fundamental and advanced and if spring boot it's, it's giving more practical oriented things so it is trying to add some more things which will display the answer in a better way so that's the way it is you can able to customize your things and you are getting the answer in such a way that based on your customization so we can able to see it now let me ask another question <clears throat> so I'm just asking a simple question So it's us giving an answer saying that my friend it's a relatively easy one the capital of us is washington dc short answer so it just give an answer very easily so let me give let me ask another question
so I'm just asking a question what is generated a in two lines Yes. So it is trying to give the answer saying that my friend generate a refers to a type of artificial intelligence that can create a new whatever it's trying to give. So that means our query, our customized models are working. And finally, let me ask one more question. What is your name? just trying to give I'm just was asking what's your name it is trying to give an answer saying that my name is just prime I'm a content creator so it's giving a nicely answer so that means its customization is done and it is taking our inputs and it's generating or it's producing an answers based on our customization inputs so that's the way you can able to customize the model and you can able to run it very easily in your local machine without deploying anywhere okay i think that's all about this video if you like the video you can subscribe the channel for more subsequent updates and thank you thank you so much